Uh, yeah. You come from Texas, mm -hmm. from the home turf of the president himself, and no, uh, see that's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> is it? He's from he, Connecticut. He's, is it? Yes. Well, yes, anyway, he was governor of Texas. Yes, yeah, he was yeah. governor and, of Texas. And, and, and we Texas did do that. Probably, therefore, is very pro-Bush, mm -hmm. very pro-Republican, mm -hmm. pro-war. Even, mm -hmm. um, how have people reacted to your show, uh, to your performance in Texas and in, in other southern states, Lennon? Um, well, in Austin, we we live in Austin because it is a very liberal town, and it's the capital of Texas. It's the capital of Texas, and oddly enough, the county that is in Austin, um, Travis County, is the only county in Texas that went for Kerry in the last election. Um, so it's a blue county in the middle of a big red state. Um, and so we like to call it the blueberry and the tomato juice, like a <laughs> little democratic dot yep. Yep. in the middle of all of these Republicans. <laughs> um, so doing the show there, uh, what we found um, from the audiences in Austin was uh, a, a lot of gratitude for being able to go sit in a room with a hundred other like-minded people to discuss what was happening in our country at the time, you know, right after Bush's re-election. Um, people really needed that, that opportunity to commiserate and be with each other um, because we felt so isolated, especially living in Texas. That's but they what were. about the rest of that tomato sauce? <laughs> you know? Well, we did do it in, in Texas. We played in Houston, um, which is about two and a half hours away from Austin. And uh, it's, I think Houston is a little more... Uh, it's probably like a 40-60 split Republican-Democrat as a city. I'm kind of making that up. And then we did it in Marfa, which is a very, 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 very small town in West Texas. And the reaction was different there, mm -hmm. um, partly because those aren't really theater towns. Um, so there, there just weren't as many people coming to see it. Or maybe just maybe they just have different political views. I mean, and, you just said that you had a, a hundred like-minded people over there in the audience. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that's a kind of a problem for you as a theater group? That you perform to a like-minded audience? No, no. We've encountered that question a lot about <laughs> preaching to the choir and all of that. And no, I mean, this this show is not a bridge-building show. This isn't a show where we want Republicans to come and then to have a discussion. This, that's not sort of the intent of his comic strip, and it's not the intent of the show. What the intent of the show is, is to vocalize things that aren't being said anywhere else, not on TV, not in the printed media, nowhere at the time. Mm -hmm. And as we travel around, we notice, you know, people are extremely relieved to see that there are American, you know, a, a voice of dissent with an American accent is unusual. It's on January 13, 2004. President Bush announces his plans for a manned mission to... Hey, guess where I'm going? I'm going to Mars! Over the, over the past few years, um, like you said, there's been a lot more political theater in the U.S. than before, mm -hmm. and the whole genre of Bush bashing shows has emerged. Mm -hmm. But has this has all this uh, affected to American society in any way, or to American political life in any way? <laughs> uh, has it really made any difference? What do you think, Sean? I I think it has. Um, you know, I struggle with you know what effect plays have. Plays have just a very local effect. I think it's a good effect and I think it's a deep and important effect but it's a very small local effect. Um, I think where you, I, I think it's also hard to uh, measure well, even though it's important. Um, as Lana was saying just when you watch the news and you feel that you are made to feel as though you are alone in your views or at least in a fringe kind of crackpot minority <laughs> and then when you get in a room with a hundred of other people over and over and over and over again and realize oh wait no this is, I'm not the fringe and I'm not a crackpot most of us are actually feeling this way I think that's very empowering psychologically and once you f you don't feel like a crackpot anymore you you know you feel a little freer to act on your beliefs or a little more confident to do so I think the television programs that you mentioned the Colbert Report the Daily Show for instance they're doing it on a much bigger scale Michael Moore also his films um, and and I think I think it inspires confidence in your own uh, 
in your own opinions, you're not a crackpot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a good message. Our <laughs> message to the world, you're not a crackpot. So political satire isn't going to change anyone's views or anyone's mind. It's just sort of a like, comforting message to people. Sorry, yeah. Alana, I cut you short. Yeah, no, I think it, 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 it's more than a comforting message, I think. I That's think actually it's, the, the word that David Rees used when, when yeah. he emailed me earlier today. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it says comfort people. I think, I think it's think? more than that. Um, I think he might be being humble. The fact that people in America, a lot of people in America that I know, turn to The Daily Show with Jon Stewart for the actual news is very telling. Like, that, that kind of stuff, David Reese, what he does with his strip is present news that isn't presented anywhere else. Anywhere else. It's not on CNN, it's not on Fox, it's not on MSNBC, it's not in any newspaper, unless sometimes in the New York Times buried somewhere very deeply in the back. So the average American is not finding any of this information out at all. And these are suddenly outlets, they're actual news outlets. And while they are political satire, they're also very educational in terms of what the Bush administration is actually doing in the world and the damage they're doing in the world. Will this new rise of political theater um, in the U.S. just wane away when Bush is out of office? Or are we talking about a more... I think permanent it's more cultural change than that yeah I, I think the bush administration for me has is going to leave a pretty deep legacy of you know the the christian conservative right has really found a position of power the corporations really actually control more than you would think <laughs> and they lobby congress and they win all the time so i i think that a I think a Democrat will take the next election, but I think that things won't change very drastically. We'll still be in this war. Okay. Well, uh, I guess your show must go on, as, as, at least as long as Bush is in the White House. Uh, get your war on. Uh, we'll be tonight at Espo Cultural Center. I wish you all the best. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Freedom is on the march. Evolution is just a theory. MTV makes people gay. Rapture is